Hey guys, uh, Ryan McKillop here. I have a little confession to make. <laughs> um, and it's so funny because everyone has ever told me not to do this and I really don't care. <laughs> I was actually watching Oprah's Life class last week, which is so phenomenal. It's, it's changed my life. And not just that, it's that I've always sort of believed all that stuff. Um, new age and spirituality and all that kind of stuff. And I really have been doing, I can't even say this, I've been doing things that I think I'm supposed to do as an underwear designer, right? So in this new collection, 2.0, pick the best fabrics, which are amazing. They're so soft, but I changed the waistbands and I changed the colors and I ended up looking like, you know, somebody from the 80s who was really popular and just really mainstream and just, you know, because I thought that's what everyone wanted. Well, do you know what? Um, I am returning to my roots and I'm thinking the way that I was thinking when I first started in fashion school and I'm being really, really creative and I'm just playing. And quite honestly, um, I am going to deconstruct everything about McKillop UW and I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to make things that I want to make, that I want to wear, that are completely ridiculous over the top stuff as well, um, that are true to me and are art and are inspirational, all the parts that are Ryan McKillop. So learning how to do it, I have no idea. Um, it's going to be quite interesting. But the thing is, is that over the past two years, I kept on saying to you that I was going to take you on a journey. Well, quite honestly, I was taking you on a journey of nothing. I wasn't telling you anything. I was, I had this huge facade up where I was just pretending to be this, you know, multi-million dollar facade on the web, right? Well, that's not true. Um, for the past two years, I've been getting the stuff uh, uh, partially made in China, and I've been sewing them all myself, which is one of the biggest projects I've ever done in my life. Uh, over the past 13 months, I have been sewing uh, all of your underwear. So, that's confession number one. Uh, and it has been such a huge passion for me. You know, it's fun to kid that I've had my hands all over all of your underwear, but it is the proudest thing I've ever done in my life. It is such an accomplishment to be able to do what I've wanted to do since I was five. Um, there's There was a time period last year when I was working while doing the underwear in the evenings and, uh, you know, I'd say on Twitter and all that kind of stuff, I was going to my warehouse. Well, do you know what? I was going to my job. And right now I have an opportunity to be able to make this full time and make this dream happen. So I kind of decided um, to bring everything back to Canada for two reasons. Number one is that the other stuff that I was getting, I actually had to spend a lot of time fixing it because it wasn't up to my standards. Um, and another thing is, is that I remember when I went to college, I wanted to improve the fashion community of Canada and being in Vancouver, there actually is a lot of underwear designers and I've noticed with the economy right now, a lot of people are coming back and making local. So that's going to be a big strength of mine from now on to get things made here. And furthermore, just, I'm going to actually build a factory and do it myself and Confession number two is I work out of my house. So here's a little tour of, actually I should turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's a big bucket of underwear, big bucket of underwear. There's some like inspiration all over my patio door. Um, underwear, underwear, Rubbermaid full of underwear, boxes of underwear, boxes of underwear. And there is my once drafting table, which is turned into Grand Central Office. I won't show you the rest because you do not want to see my kitchen or my bathroom. <laughs> um, so anyways, I have decided that from now on, I am going to be honest with you and I'm going to let you know how hard it is 
you know, because there's a lot of people starting businesses out there that are in the exact same book, uh, in the exact, it's funny I say book, because that's the next thought, but the exact same space as I'm in, that they're just trying to make their dreams happen, and they're working really, really hard, and doing everything sort of behind this facade, and they just want somebody to say, yeah, I'm here with you, it sucks, it's a lot of hard work, I've never worked, you know, getting up at four in the morning and working until eight at night. Um, and I always said that I wanted to write a book and tell everyone the truth about what was going on. And I'm like, well, do you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth as it's going on, because I know there's people uh, like yourself and your friends and people that are out there that are in the exact same boat. And do you know what? It's worth it. I think so. Um, believing who you truly are and working really, really hard towards exactly what you want, there cannot be anything bad about it. Um, so anyways, I've kept on saying for the past couple of years, we're on a journey together. Well, this is day one. We're on a journey. I cannot wait to see what will happen uh, over the upcoming years as we ride this journey together. And I promise that I will be upfront and honest and I will uh, take you on this journey. Because again, I don't just do this for me. I don't do this for money. Um, if I did, I'd be in the wrong industry right now because uh, fashion is not selling right now. It's really, really tough out there. And this is coming from my heart, not uh, to, to buy me some fancy materialistic crap, which is funny. Um, that I sell stuff and I'm saying that but hey we all need underwear and why not make the best out there that make you feel special that make you stand up straight and make you walk better because you have the confidence and so starting 2012 I was gonna start the the campaign elevate who you are well I'm gonna start right now by elevating who I am to be a better person a better designer and I've said all the time, please communicate with me. Twitter, McKillop UW, um, Facebook, email, whatever. I really legitimately do want to hear what you have to say. If I've done something stupid, designed something ugly, you know, made something that made you feel amazing, please let me know. Uh, so that's it. It's a long video. If you've made it this far, I thank you. And... Uh, I am genuinely so grateful to all my customers and my friends and my family and everyone out there that's supporting me. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you again. Okay, have a great day.